this next shoe is one that I've had some pretty good success with. I originally saw it up at uh, the old Rochester Equine uh, Clinic in New Hampshire. A few years ago, um, uh, Dieter Kronert had come over from Germany. He was talking about the, uh, the thumbprint uh, heel chew. Uh, the, the French call it a uh, onion heel chew. Uh, it's a wonderful shoe if you can hand make it, but uh, for day-to-day -day work, I use this uh, modification on nearly half the horses that I shoe. Uh, we're just going to start with a um, uh, Kirkhart standard size three. It's come out of the fire. These are a compromised pattern shoe, so first thing I need to do is round out the toe a little bit. Just light hammer blows. more radius to the toe. I'm also going to roll the toe of this shoe, so we do want to make it just a little more uh, bold than uh, we normally would. And then the other thing, I'm going to bring the heels in a little more so than I normally would. When I go and make the, the onion or the thumbprint, they will open back up a bit, so uh, I'm ideally just thinking of the shoe right now is fitting it very tight into the heels something like that to begin with. Now what I'll do, start the heels first, so I'm going to take a, uh, a nice short heat just on the heels and uh, come back out and we'll thumbprint those. And all that does is widen the metal and give a little extra uh, polymer, uh, in this case polymer support, hind shoe plantar support, but this is a front shoe. Okay, so taking a nice short heat on my heels. I'm going to come out to the face of the anvil with the round portion of my rounding hammer. I'm going to hold the shoe, the, the shoe at the toe and then come down at an angle and all I'm doing is thinning and widening the inside of the web. Ready to go 
to the horse. So we're ready to clip the shoe now. I'm going to use a uh, ball peen hammer for this. Um, because it's a front shoe, I'm going to put quarter clips between the uh, second and third nail hole. So I'll just come to the uh, off edge of the anvil, start my bubble, coming back into the crease but not distorting it. So basically what we have is from a standard uh, Kirkhart keg shoe to a nice roller motion onion heeled shoe uh, with uh, quarter clips. On average I can make a pair of these um, in under 10 minutes. It's a great modification, provides a lot of extra heel support, nice ease of break over. I accentuated what I seated out with the grinder just so you can see um, that it is nicely seated out. Um, normally I wouldn't go over it with the grinder, but just uh, I'm hoping it shows up a little better on the video. But a great little modification, a lot of, uh, a lot of our warm bloods uh, benefit from this, especially if they're uh, you know, not in need of a bar shoe. Uh, it's a great way to provide a little polymer support and ease a break over. Good luck with it. If you have any questions or if you want to see anything else, um, feel free to uh, post a comment. And uh, this is my busy time of year, but I'll do my best to, uh, to help out if I can. Thanks.